Hi everybody. Hi. Brielle and I here, and we are gonna make my Aunt Jeannie's best ever banana bread. Mm -hmm. So let me show you our tools that we have out, Pampered Chef tools. Um, yeah, these are our favorite stainless steel mixing bowls. We use them like every time we make bake and stuff. Yeah, and we have the mix and chop. Um, and then a, a couple other tools we're gonna use at the end also. All okay. right? We like to bake, don't we, Brielle? Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay, so to start, Brielle, we need one and three quarter cup of flour. So, yep, that's this one. And Brielle's gonna make a batch, and I'm gonna make a batch. And then we're gonna put it in two separate pans. Okay? So we need, you need three of those. And the mix and chop, we used for the bananas to mash them all up. That's a very smart idea. Yeah, it worked really. It works really well for bananas. Mix and chop. I, there's a um, picture out there, and then you need one of these that shows like 27 uses of the mix and chop. I use it a lot for bananas. about the stainless steel mixing bowls are the bottoms. Um, they don't scooch around on the table so you don't have to worry uh, about them moving while you're mixing them. They also come with really nice covers um, and they fit tight too. I don't want to say they're leak proof. Um, if you dump them upside down, I I'd be willing to bet they are, um, but you better test it out before. But they fit nice and tight too, okay? So there's our sugar. In another bowl, we're gonna combine the egg, the bananas, oil, buttermilk, and vanilla. Okay, another paper chef item we really love for baking is the plastic batter, um, I don't think they're called the batter bowls, um, but these are just our classic glass bowls. And they come in three different sizes. So a recipe like this, because I'm making double, we need a lot of bowls. Yeah. I do really love these. I really like them at Easter because we put our colored Easter eggs in them and set them out for display and they're so pretty. Yeah, and you can see all the colors. Yeah. So yeah, they're great. Mix and stirs. These are the best spatulas. This is the only spatulas I have. Yeah, okay. the, you only have Pampered Chef spatulas. Yeah. I have no idea. Yeah, okay. they're super like easy to use. Okay. And they're plastic, so they're like hardly able to work. Okay. So then. Mm -hmm. Yep, you can mix that together. So now we're going to take our wet ingredients and just fold them into our dry ingredients. Yep. And I was always told that with cakes that are made from scratch and quick breads like this, that the less you mix it, the better. Um, you don't want to beat the flour apart. There you go. So we're going to fold that together. So now we're ready for nuts. Our grandpa, my dad. <laughs> Their grandpa really likes nuts and cookies and breads and whatever else. Brownies. Brownies. And anything. For sure. So we are going to make sure we add nuts. So we're going to use the chopper. Um, did you know that there's a, a blade sharpener? It works on the chopper, the manual food processor. Um, I believe one other item. I can't remember what the other item is. Okay. We're good there. Okay. And here's another one. We're gonna put, oh, okay. we're supposed to measure, you know. It calls for a cup of chopped nuts. We're gonna call that really close. Mm -hmm. Dump that into Brielle's. 
Okay. So I fold these in. And then repeat for my batch. Okay. Now I have two helpers. Okay. The nuts are added, and I think we are ready to uh, add to our pan. Okay, so we are gonna use, three. oh, three helpers, oh. We're gonna use the Pampered Chef uh, Stoneware Loaf Pan. Uh, I use this a lot. Yeah. I make quick breads, I make um, breads that, with yeast that rise, and of course we're gonna spray it. So this is the kitchen spritzer. Um, you put whatever flavor oil you want in here. Uh, I thought garlic infused would be really good to spray. Um, I might get another one of these. To spray on your uh, pans when you're making eggs or sauteing something. Um, this is just plain olive oil. And how it works is you pump it and then it turns uh, whatever oil you have in there into an aerosol. So we're gonna pump it and Brielle's gonna spray the pan. Mama, can I spray this one? Yep. Okay, my turn. Okay. And then, yep, we'll do Can that I pump one. it? Mama. Bye. Mama. <laughs> okay, so. We sprayed the pan. We sprayed her pan, and Brielle's gonna add her batter to the pan. Okay. I can't see it. Just like normal. So. We've got our banana bread in our stoneware loaf pan. For this one, we're gonna use the mini loaf pan. And we really like the mini loaf pan because um, in the mornings, in the mornings for breakfast, we just take one of these loaves out of the freezer and then we have something different for breakfast. Sometimes we don't eat a whole loaf of bread and it sits in the refrigerator for a few days and it dries out. So to ensure that our banana bread doesn't dry out and we eat it in time, we make a lot of mini loaves. I wrap them up and put them in the freezer and then we have a nice treat whenever we eat. I have to add something to that. Yes. But sometimes when the banana, when the loaves are done cooking, my brother thinks it's a, my dad and my brother think it's a cupcake. That they're they cupcakes. Just, they just take a whole loaf and start gnawing it exactly. down. Exactly. All right, so what I'm gonna do for this one is this is the batter dispenser and I'm going to add the banana <clears throat> batter to the batter dispenser because uh, I'm really kind of a sloppy cook when it comes to putting the batter in the pans. And many a day have I wasted uh, dough uh, because I put it in the pans and it slops all over the edges of the pan. So as you can see, that's pretty easy. The batter dispenser has a really nice wide diameter on it. So um, it's really easy to get the batter from the bowl into the batter dispenser. Yeah, mm -hmm. looks really nice. Yep, and then we're gonna clean this off. Here's the top. Here's the top. It reminds me a lot of a trivet, or a, what do we call it? A spritzer, a spritz yeah, cookie maker. Yeah, our mm -hmm. spritzer maker. Our spritz cookie maker. Okay, really all right, so here's our batter dispenser mm -hmm. and we're gonna add the batter to our little wow, little loaves. Okay. Yeah, isn't it great? That's cool, I wanna try it. Wow, it doesn't even make a mess. Like, nope. you can put as much as you want in there. And yep. Okay, so we're all done filling our pan. Yes. Mm -hmm. And we're ready to go. Um, the mini loaf pan, uh, I can get a whole batch of my banana bread in the mini loaf pan. Um, I'd be honest, sometimes mine puff up over the edges. Uh, I don't really care. <laughs> um, but if you want it to be perfect, you shouldn't fill them as full as mine. But. So we have two batches of banana bread ready to go. Yeah. High five. Ooh. Are we just bring it in? All right. All right, here's our cute little mini loaves that we made all ready to go. And our loaf of banana bread. And one thing I wanted to show you was a little trick. Um, this mini loaf pan works super good, but the teal spatula uh, is nylon and you don't have to worry about it scraping your pans. And I'll just take one of my loaves here and put it in here. Um, the spatula sits underneath the bread dough super easy and just pops it right out uh, of the pan. So it's the perfect size for in the mini loaf pan. I love yeah. that little trick. Okay. All right, thank you helpers for helping us <laughs> with the banana bread. <laughs> and thank you helpers. Hi. And yep, and we're already tasting the fruits of our labor. Yeah.